Hey, this is Ghost Fox Ninja here, uh, bringing you a video about my Kawasaki Ninja 500R that I just got last week, my first bike, and I've been watching videos of everybody for about eight months now, and kind of itching to ride. What you'll need is a flathead screwdriver, a long, fairly long, thinner uh, Phillips, normal Phillips your ratchet and a 12 millimeter socket, some pliers, and maybe a labeling pen for the bottles here. Okay, so this is my gas tank on the Ninja 500. And so basically what you need is a 12 mil socket. Pretty much everything is uh, metric on these, so it's really nice. And maybe grab yourself a little tray to put stuff in. Next, what you want to do is under here, there's a bolt right there. Take a screwdriver, take that bolt off on both sides, and then you're going to wedge something in between here so that when you pull the tank off, the tabs won't scratch right here. Okay, you grab your Phillips screwdriver of choice, and you take this out on both sides, it will be. Put it in your tray. What I like to do. Just wedge like some tape in here. You see that tab right there? When it comes back down, it's going to scratch, but you want that to clear it. So put something in there. It's out of the way. Take a big ball of tape like that, and then you do the same with the other side. And I'll show you the next step. Okay, what I also like to do is I add just a little bit of painter's. Uh, what is it? painting tape or whatever you call it or put a couple layers just in case I sway it and scratch it. Um, also make sure that your gas is turned off because the next step will be taking off the gas hose and a vacuum hose off of those two. And also I forgot to mention you're going to have to grab the Phillips again and you're going to have to take this one bolt out here so that you can remove the other part right by the other part of the tank here. So, and this just pops out. Just pop it out. So what I'm gonna do is put just a roll of tape underneath here, once it's cleared, like so. Gas is turned off. And take your pliers, loosen off. Okay, and then what you're going to do after that is just put that in between, slide it off, get some gas on your hand, and awesome. Now you just got to pop off this vacuum line, and this hose is one that you'll connect the, one of those tubes to the bottle that's actually a vacuum. Remember the hose, you pop that off, and then go ahead and Pull the tank backwards and remove it. Okay, so once you have the tank removed, follow this hose, and that's on the left carburetor. So where this joins, that's you're gonna pull this off on this side, and then there's another hose that connects up to this. I don't even know what that is yet, but it's on to the right side carburetor. So you pull that off, and the, where this tube goes. And where this tube goes is your intake or vacuum on your carburetors. All right, here's my setup. So what I have is two bottles. Uh, I taped here because it was leaking. Put some glue in between here just so there's no air escaping. This is 3 16 by 5 16 And then the quarter is what I used for the gas. So what you do is get a bottle, add some gas, I glued the top, and you run that, and that goes into the fuel line, so that you have continuous fuel. So down here where the screwdriver is, is right in between the two butterfly valves, between the both carburetors, and that's the screw that you adjust.
what I've done is uh, counterclockwise on the left, clockwise on the right. So now every time I want the water level to go up on the right side, I go clockwise, I'm trying to even it out. Clockwise, turn on the screwdriver just a little bit, try and get the left side water up. That's basically how to do it on a Ninja 500R. Maybe about almost ten dollars with the tubing. So what you would need is two stoppers and I couldn't find ones that go inside but I found tub stoppers cut the top off and then tube which would be the 3 16 so I got about seven feet and I put as much as I could in here and then I cut the other two in half uh, maybe a couple twist ties you can put it on a board you can put it on whatever is going to help and you can also put dye in it so you can have red green blue whatever colors you want all right, so that's how you use a manometer, homemade, and this is actually really simple to make, about 10 bucks, with all the parts that I described earlier. I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff back together and sign out for now. So this is Ghost Fox Ninja. If you like this video, click the like button, and if you like to subscribe, that'd be sweet. Thank you, and have a good day.